Hi everyone, welcome to Accelerando Piano. I'm Jane Trotter and today's tutorial is learning how to play legato in one hand and staccato in the other at the same time. So in other words, different articulation in each hand at the same time. A lot of people find this quite difficult starting out, so I've got some tips and tricks to help you along the way with that process. I'm going to play just a tiny little excerpt from this piece by James Hook. It's a lovely little gavotte. I'll play you the first line and listen out for um, the different uh, types of touch in each hand. <laughs> line and if we shoot down to the bottom line you can see the left hand has got the little staccato dots and the right hand doesn't so I'll play you that last line as well now I chose that piece because recently I was working with a student um, and she was finding it quite difficult doing the last line which was the staccato dots here versus the smooth part in the right hand so oh and actually just while we think about it effectively i was playing these as if they had staccato dots as well i was coming off those guys Let's slow that down a bit um, because effectively, with the repeated note, I've got to come off, but the other hand is smooth. So, we were looking at how we could approach this. So, first off, we decided to do just um, one hand imagining like it was a minimum, and one hand like a crotchet. So we weren't going to make the shorter hand really, really short, but we were just going to do something like this. Just as simple as that, just one note holding and coming off with the other one. And then we could try maybe with some different notes. So we could do it, how about an F and an A? So we're going to hold the A in the right hand and come off with your left hand and then gradually we were going to make this shorter note even shorter so eventually it would make it more of a staccato feel then we decided to do something like this so we're going to try and keep this hand smooth and this hand bouncy and we were just going to do a little exercise, just doing mirror fingering patterns, and then coming back in. And then you could try it the other way around. So you could make this hand smooth and this one bouncy. And again, if that's tricky, just make it a bit longer again. So imagine a two beat note for your left hand one big note for your right hand, like that. Then we decided to go into a contra motion pattern. So um, I'm doing it an octave apart uh, just because it's a little bit easier to hear. And in fact, we'll put the overhead camera on, do that and that. There we go. Um, that might give you a better viewpoint. So here we go. I'm going to make my right hand notes shorter and my left hand notes longer. And I'm not going to do it super staccato to start with. So I'm just going to do that. Really slow. Really deliberate. And you want to listen out for your left hand being really smooth. Like that. And then you could try it the other way around. that. 
And then to make it a little bit harder, instead of doing it contrary motion, contrary motion is great because you've got mirror fingering patterns, which makes it a little bit easier. Let's try the same thing, similar motion. So now, let's make the right hand staccato. difficult to slow the whole process down a bit so we'll do that and again very slow very deliberate like that and if you want a real brain tease swap your articulation on the way down And then you can make that harder if you want. You could try going up and down a whole scale. So you might do, I'll just do this a little bit faster. You could do something like that. And swap it on the way back. Like that. That's a really good exercise. And then, for example, you might want to play two notes smooth with one staccato. So you might do something like this. So you could try that. You could try different patterns. So you could do skip patterns. So you could try all sorts of different combinations like that. Just take it out of the piece, make it into a little exercise, um, and gradually build up those listening skills as well, because it's important that when you're doing it, that you make sure that your right hand, if that's the smooth one, is actually smooth. So you're not doing something like this. Okay, that's kind of all over the place. So you want to make sure this stays smooth all the way, and that you're listening for that really smooth legato touch. So those are a couple of ideas just to make up some exercises to work with that legato, staccato, uh, different articulation in each hand. And then when you come back to put it in the piece, so if we go back to the little hook gavotte and we look at that last line again, what we can do is maybe just try the very first beat. Just doing that much. And I wasn't making my left hand super short. Let's try it being a little more bouncy. And then you might pause there and then you say, right, I'm going to line myself up for the next one. And you might try that one again. And then you put all of that together. And you just keep it really slow. And then gradually you'll speed it up and that articulation will feel really natural. So hopefully doing some of those exercises will give you some good ideas and just a real feel for that legato staccato touch. And have fun. It's, it's a type of um, combination of articulation that comes up a lot in pieces. So the sooner you can feel comfortable with it and feel confident playing it, the easier it will be for your pieces in the future. So good luck, have fun. <laughs>